Hi guys, Bomber here. Welcome back to the channel. And before we start, I use thank you to all of my Patreons. If you want to join them and start supporting me, the link to my Patreon is in the description and the comment pinned down below. And with that said, let's jump into the video. Keep this deck. Ooh. Like, I, I won also against Lucian Nagarim, which is probably the, the best deck at the moment in the game. Actually, my version with Kalista instead of Ekarim is better, but that's another story. Okay, deny. We could deny the Rentless Pursuit, but uh, I also like Lulu for the potential uh, barrier. I don't know if deny is worth keeping. Like, what if he has uh, arrow, the arrowing? Like, he could have some uh, pretty great targets. So, like, let's, let's keep uh, deny. But it is a kind of slow. Okay, double deny. It's a kind of slow against this uh, type of aggressive deck. Luckily enough, he didn't uh, have a one drop. We also have Shen. So, like, this, this game, we have a lot of value. So, like, let's see how this uh, goes. Only a Shark Chariot. It's not developing anything on board. Matter of the Stones. Like, I probably want to go for Lulu. If he uh, doesn't develop a blocker, he can deal quite a lot of damage. Six damage. Pesky Spectre. We can probably push the damage there. Mark of the Isles? Okay, sharp side. It's okay, we're losing a Lulu. But uh, he used a sharp side for doing so. Now I wonder if we draw that. Like if we draw that, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna scream. I'm not scream. But... Okay. So now, what do you think of Pesky Spectre? It's uh, an interesting card for sure. Like uh, the use of it uh, is uh, as a sacrificial token, you know. And uh, it is good at doing that. It costs zero. And also, like, sometimes you have the upside that your opponent could draw that uh, in the early game, which uh, screws up his draws. Or also in the late game, like, you know, it's basically like the Arson card, uh, what, what it was, like, the Weasel, stuff like that. So, like, now we, are, we want to end uh, this, uh, this uh, senior, like, this support uh, chain, and we have a very great uh, target for that, which is Lunari Shield Stalker. And we can deal quite a huge amount of damage there. Oh, so he went for the the familiar one. But yeah, like uh, he, he can't do anything about this. Like, what, what could it be? Mark of the Isles? Yeah, like Mark of the Isles would, would work, but only killing uh, our Shen. And uh, yeah, like if if you have Mark of the Isles, good for you. Like, what can I say? Like, well played. <laughs> and, and he just takes... Uh, yeah, like, he probably has... Okay, okay. okay he didn't have that. Fine, fine, fine. Let's go, guys, let's go. This, this, like, this is very, very threatening. Like, going for a Grand Plaza with this board, it's uh, a very slow move. So, like, you know, guys, like this deck has really potential. Like, uh, I'm still uh, confident in that. What is this? What is this? Why? Why, guys? So, okay, he's probably going for the, the Shen. We want to keep mana for a deny for if he has, like, the mark of the... What is that? Like, the, the three mana, remove a mirror, give it to something else. So, like, we want to keep four mana. But uh, we can go for Mentor of the Stones, then, so that we prepare for our open attack Speak, next turn. Shen. Okay, so he didn't have that. But so yeah, we have to wait on the Lulu, because uh, he will go for his attack. My probably has to remove the elusives. Isn't that card from Yonia? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. you're right. But what is the name of that? Like, you know, since since I don't <laughs> see it in the meta all that much, uh, it is hard to... Like, it, it is easy to confuse. I wonder if that's it, that, that is the ending fleet. Probably yes. Like, you know, there are, there are all those cool references. Okay, and also the, the shark is back. So he went for this, which is understandable. Like, uh, he doesn't want the elusives to get to gain damage. So yeah, that's completely fine. 
we have still the gems. And with Lulu we can make some uh, some bigs uh elusive units. She's also leveled up. So now we can't really kill Sh Ooh, guys, we can do some insane OTKs there. He can't kill the Shen. If we give quick attack to Lulu, he can't also kill that. We can use Elpix. Like yeah, let's let's, uh, let's just play really safe. Like we go for Elpix. We make. Uh, we give uh, barrier to these. Uh, we make these uh, bigger, and like we are dealing uh, eight damage from these. Eight damage. We can, also, we can also use one gem, which will be 9 damage. If we give better, we got 12. So it is not really... Oh, but like, one another one is connecting. So like, you know what? Like, let's... Let's do this. And like, you know, you know what? Because uh, Shen is leveling up if we also go for uh, Shen Stand United. So that there, there is 3 more points of damage potential in there. Yeah, you see? That's, that's kind of insane. That's uh, an incredible OTK there. Like he's also he's, yeah, like why this also got barrier? Why why this also ah yeah because uh, at Pix, okay, okay. it was already there and then he just got it back. So yeah, we won against Lusan Makarim, best uh, deck in the game. So like if we beat the best deck in the game, then this is the best deck of the, the game. I also have some some skills into you know beat making. And uh, probably also kind of okay in rhymes. Yep. Okay, no backwa. What did they say? Your name. <laughs> when I when I stream for too long, why not? Yeah, like that would be interesting. When I stream for too long, I start to get crazy, basically. Bastion for his concert strike or single combat is gonna be pretty interesting. Sparkle fly against his sparkle fly. It's interesting as well. Lulu, it's a, one of our. You have to live with it. Yeah, like uh, they will probably not not really mock me, but um, something similar to that. But yeah, I'm fine with that. Like uh, because I know that I will make it uh, in a cringe way, you know. So like I won't. Uh, complain if they don't like it or if they say this is cringe like it, it was intended you know and like there are still uh, what I like to call stupid people which will uh, not understand that I made it uh, in a comedic way but I don't really care about the opinion of that th those people intentional cringe is fine yeah yeah intentional cringe intentional cringe like bomber but boomer <laughs> Boomer, you are a boomer. Let's go. Like this is a pale cascade for sure, and uh, we are not happy in losing our uh, our sparkle fly. Nice, intentional cringe. It is, guys. So like now we can uh, go for young witch onto Lulu, which uh, buffs the the sparkle fly. And then we finally see the Mountain Sojourners. Ooh, we also have Shen. Then Shen is probably better. Like, the most uh, mana efficient. Like, I'm really worrying about... Uh... What is this? Yeah, now if he has single combat, uh, that's pretty bad. But yeah, like, now, now he can trade the, the, the Sparkle Fly. He could have Pale Cascade. And he probably has it because he had it last turn. But then yeah, he's still taking five. You know. Ooh. Ooh. That, that hurts, guys. We lost our Lulu. But yeah, we still push uh, seven damage.
Like, guys, how many champions are there in the game? Because I probably have to make a rhyme for every one of them. We have to use a bastion for the serpent. Or, we can be just fine with that. And we go 48, I think. So I, I need to make at least 48 uh, rhymes. There's like over 170. Not like, I mean, only in uh, Legends of Runeterra. So like probably two, like if it is a, um, uh, how do you call it? Like we call it Rima Bachata, which is like A-A-B-B. -B. Oh no, those are the level up animations. A little less. Yeah, okay, then probably... Because what has double animation? Like Lucen has double animation. And probably th there is also the Fiora uh, win condition animation. So there are like, there are like 46. Like it is, it is 6 champions for 8 regions. So it should be 48. Isn't it? Why there are less than that? Then. So, okay, you went for these. You could have another... Like, if we go for Bastion, this is always safe. Only if he has a Pale Cascade. Then we lose an Ash. A, a Bastion, sorry. For these. I think I'm... Like, uh... Better off at losing this Spark of Fire and playing another one. Really. We can also go for Flower Child. Or we can keep the mana. But like next turn we will have 6. Uh, 6 plus 2. We will have 3 mana. Does 3 mana... Like it probably doesn't matter. Let's actually try to be... You know... More aggressive. Another young witch. So yeah, we're definitely going for Mountain Sojourners there. Probably this is the... The most competitive uh, Mountain Sojourners are there. So how do we go about this? The first one is gonna be Mountain Sojourners. We don't care if we lose it. Can't wait for the trash rhyme. So oh, people are going to remember that he exists. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Like, that, that should probably be something like... Uh, you say that I'm trash, but you play in your, in your deck there is trash. Stuff like that. Like, you know, it's pretty easy, pretty cringe. Something like that, really done in one hour or so. <laughs> Whatever comes to my mind first. Of course, like, trash with the A, and then trash with, uh, you know, the, the champion. With the E. How do we go about this? Uh, like, Shen should probably be kept alive. Or maybe not, like, the Sparklefly should be kept alive. So, like, we do this. And then, like, he can't really afford to block the Flower Child, so this is basically one free damage. So like, yeah, he's dead like this. He has to have an Ash or stuff like that. And he's still dead like this. No, no, no. Okay, he's, he goes at 2. Mountain Sojourner's MVP there? Well, at 3, sorry. I'm bad at maths even, even if I study. Okay. Celestial power. 9-5. We are actually fine in taking the damage, really. Just go for these. Uh, uh, could he kill us? Like, we need... Uh, we have plenty of... Of... Uh, of elusives. Like, I could throw just... Uh, a spark of flight there, for example. I can think, what, what could he have? Stand, he can't play standalone. He could have uh, Blessing of Targon. Double Blessing of Targon. She goes at 15. He could have Repost, Repost uh, into Sharp Sight. That's uh, 8, uh, and that would be lethal. Okay, so, like, yeah, let's uh, play it safe. I, I think that we are winning. I don't want to risk to some uh, crazy stuff happening. Repost into Sharp Sight would have been. So tilting. Is that a family frog? Oh my gosh. Go on, Rib. Tell me to say hello. Hello. 
Perché Zoe is also pretty close on leveling up. Like, uh, uh, um, sorry, the Sparkle Fly on this insane Zoe would be kind of insane. What if he has a... Uh... Fun fact, I'm actually re really mad at Trash right now. I opened the last Shadow's Eyeless Champion chest, I got 3 copies of everyone and 2 copies of Trash and Ekarim. I prayed for the Ekarim to build the Lisa and Ekarim sooner, and you know why I'm mad. So like, you want a double Ekarim. Like, you're, you're only missing those two? But yeah, like, getting 2 champions is already kinda lucky, so like... Uh, is it, it is fine. Like, I mean, I don't know the odds on uh, on the champion chest, but like, I probably think that... No, I got Thresh. Ah, ah, now I get it. So that... I got three copies of everyone, and two... Ah, okay, 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 now I get it. You have, you have, you are missing one copy of Thresh and one copy of Ekarim, and you got Ekarim. Okay, okay, okay. Now, now I... I don't know what I read uh, the first time. Like, I, I, I probably understood that you uh, got two copies uh, of Thresh and Ekarim. You know what I mean? Like, you know... To like I don't, I don't know <laughs> what they read. <laughs> yeah, like this seems uh, winning uh, under every point of view, and he's also you know roping. He probably went AFK. He was like, I, I lost to a oh, what deck? What is what deck is this? Okay. Yeah, now we are just winning, I guess. We have also an Ash to kill this insane Zoe. Let's go, guys, let's go. Like, he doesn't really have blockers. He has to block in there. Okay, he's there, guys. He's alive. Yeah, we can kill that. And he's also dead. I actually found last week two champions in the same weekly chest, and they both turned into wildcards, lol. Wow, that's like the best luck you could ever have. Insane luck. Like, uh, probably getting a second copy of a champion is already 10%. Then uh, a card turning into a wild card is 10%. So, like, you got a 10% of a 10% of a 10%. Which is like uh, 1 out of 1000. Like, not even that insane. Like, when 1 in 1000 is okay. But it's definitely a lot. Yeah, he's, uh, he's dead. Almost perfect lethal. Like, I don't really want to play anything else, right? Because he, we will give back uh, the priority to him. So, like, uh, yeah, he could have ashed that, but I don't want him to play anything else. So, we won. Like, you shouldn't be greedy. Like, if you are winning, what is the point of playing another card? You're already winning. But, you know, for, it would be cool to give a 12 5 Zoe. 6 11 for 5. I, I, I will take that. Leona Ridden Soul, Grand Targon. Let's go. We have to be pretty aggressive there. Lulu into Sparkle Flights, uh, pretty interesting. Bastion for the single combat or. Um, uh, what is the name? Five mana. Consider a strike on the Sparkle Fly. It's uh, a good counter. And the Mountain Sojourners. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you for uh, reminding me. Like, again, man, I had the, the thought of putting Mountain Sojourners in, in there. Because, like, uh, if you look at the cards, uh, more than half of our deck uh, has support. And the cards which do not have support uh, are the support targets at the end of the, the chain, basically. So, like, I, I was really into... Like, Mountain's Journey has to be good there. But then I was like... Uh, they, they all told... They, they all said that um, Mountain's Journey is not good, it is not meta. And so, like, I was... Uh, how can I say it? Uh, not confused. Like, uh, led to think that uh, Mountain Sojourners can never be meta. Because it is too slow. But it is a finisher, if you think about it. Like, it is uh, a vision or a decisive maneuver, if you think about it. Which is not even temporary. Like, uh, you, can, you can also not win in that turn and the, the buff will stay. Which is pretty great, like, really. I don't understand why people have so little faith. Okay, here is the same thing. Why is this passing there? I might try this deck later. I love the support archetype. I will, uh, I will share the deck code in, uh, on Discord. Are you on the Eden part of the Discord? Like, you know, did you do the welcome and... Uh, welcome and... Uh, what is it? Info and... Um, 
What is it? Bruise and Info. Part. Yeah, I wonder why he didn't uh, play Solar Shield better first. Like, why, why was he waiting for my attack? Vikingolo? Bomber, do you play LoL 2? No. no I, I don't like uh, MOBAs. Or whatever they are. Like, I mean, seeing that I don't like them, it's uh, not true. I never tried them, actually. Like, on, on paper, like, never actually uh, trying them out, I could already see that I don't like them. Because I don't like action games, and it is a bit action-like. So, like, uh, probably I, I would not like that, but never actually played it. Well, he went pretty insane there. Like, uh, let's still go for this, uh, because we can heal quite a lot. We are weak to a single combat on the Sparkle Fly. So, like, let's uh, make it a bit bigger, and then next turn we will have mana for it. Lulu is halfway leveled up. Ash. <sighs> like, really, Ash is a problem. Nope, I haven't been very active on Discord lately, but I saw that all the sections are gone. I thought it was under removal. Yeah, it was under removal, but now, if you have time, go to check, uh, like, the... You can only see temporary, and you can see welcome. Welcome and commands. So, like, go to welcome, then welcome will say you to write a command. A com the command uh, will uh, reveal a new um, channel, and in that channel you will find the following, uh, like, another command to reveal all the others, which you are familiar with, and more, like yeah, I had, uh, like I, re I reorganized everything. Nice, no, pretty cool. So he went for uh for this. <laughs> what what is what is it like? It went for this. What is what? But yeah, he went for this. Yeah, like you just have to know that he went for this. Now we have another like uh, end of the chain. Now these mountain sojourners is not as great as uh, the one we had before. But, like, imagine if the Lulu stayed alive. Like, again, that was a plus six, plus six instead. Cool, I'll do it now. Thank you, Felix. And also, let, let me know if uh, if it is difficult or if it is time-consuming, whatever. Like, because I don't understand why the other guys on, uh, on, you know, on the... I can't talk today. On the Discord server are not doing that. And I don't understand why. So, wait, like, yeah, going for these... Uh, like, the Mandarin's Journal doesn't really die to this board. And if he goes for the obliterate, we have two bastions and an eye and an opify. So like we are we have plenty of protection for our board. An ash would suck there, bro. Pero is uh, though in English. <laughs> Sometimes uh, some uh, some Italian words slip in when I talk. Believe or burn. Okay. So okay, this is uh, completely fine. We are doing five. It doesn't really run healing, except for uh, star shaping. Which is a problem, but... Okay, so now, knowing how unlucky I am, he probably got Supernova off of that. And please, guys, remember me that I have to keep the Deny for the Supernova. Because, like, the, the Falling Comet... Here it is, Falling Comet. Here it is. Like, we can counter that with Bastion. Instead of the Supernova, we need two Bastion to counter a Supernova. Or one deny to counter the same supernova. So like, you know, the order is like that. Cool, I'll do it now. I oh, know that that was the message from before. Like sometimes I don't know what. Uh, like it, it flashes uh, that there is a new message, uh, and instead it was the one from before. Draw a landmark. So he wants to go for uh, Grand Plaza. I think that this is a great nobify target. Like I don't think he has uh, many more nobify targets. Probably only single combat. But, like, if he's searching so heavily for a Grand Plaza, he probably doesn't have any, any other way of uh, challenging my units. And he wants to do that badly. Consider a strike. Okay, so, yeah, now, now this is uh, Bastion, right? Because he could have gotten Supernova for that again. So, like, yeah, this is uh, Bastion for sure. And we keep the deny for um, the supernova again. Pretty insane uh, counter there. What is this? Single combat ash. Ooh, Ooh guys. Uh, yeah, we have to go for another bus in then. Supernova, Novaqua, Supernova. 
No, guys. Like, Novako, do you remember when I never played around... Uh, what was it? Uh, Ruination. <laughs> like that. That's insane. Okay, so next turn we are attacking with a 5 uh, sp attack Sparkle Fly. Yes, I do. He's pretty low on cards, also. Like, we can almost kill him. We have to believe in the arts of the cards. Like, come on, man. DDD, great times, best times. <laughs> DDD went away. Okay, no, he's there, he's there, guys. He's still fighting. Must we fight, as the Lunari Shade Stalker says. Now we could also pull off some insane swapping. Like, yeah, yeah, we can almost... We can kill him with Shen. Like, guys, guys, look at this. This is insane. Are you ready? Like, guys, this is uh, completely broken. You never saw something uh, this good. Like, this can't be blocked, right? So, like, I'm, I'm worried about an Ash. But, like, even if he goes for an Ash... Like, we have to try this, guys. We have to. Like, we go for this... Are you ready, guys? I don't think you're ready. We Go for these. Uh, these levels up. Uh, and deal stand. <laughs> guys. Clip that. Like, if he doesn't have Ash, clip that. Just a second. Do you have Ash? You don't have Ash. You just lost, man. Insane stand united. Chance stand united. Come on, man. You don't have Ash. You don't have it. You don't have it. Man, just surrender already. Or just get this Shen through. GG. Like, yeah, he could still have Ash. And, like, this will become... Ah, uh, what? Ah, uh, 4 attack. He would already used it. Yeah, yeah. He's probably... He just... <laughs> he just rage quitted. Where do I find this deck? <laughs> this is insane, guys. Then after the stream, I will put the... He's stalling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's searching for an answer. Like, uh, no, no, he's just rage re quitted. Clip that, guys. Clip that, please. Insane Shen Stand United. After the stream, I will leave the, the link. Uh, like, the deck code. On Discord. Are you on Discord? Rage stalling. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Insane. Everything as it should you, you, you didn't, uh, like, uh, you, you didn't see that coming, right? I can't talk today, really, guys. One hour before. I did a thing on Discord. To be honest, it is a little counterintuitive if you are not familiar with Discord. Why couldn't you just open the section for everybody and then remind everyone to read the ruling? Okay, that's a fair counterpoint. Why do, do you see that it is counterintuitive? Like... You are not familiar with Discord, and so you notice that? Or are you familiar with Discord, but you are worried about someone which is not? First of all. And then, like, uh, I could do that. But, like, uh, I always uh, remind uh, people to, like, for example, vote on the polls. And then no one still does that. Like, I have either to DM them, if I, like, if I'm talking to them uh, casually. Like, I have to DM them. Or they don't do that. So, like, it is a way to, like, force people to read them. Because it is the... You have to read them if you want to actually enter the Discord. Which is a bit, like, um... It is, like, debatable. If it is the right way, like, forcing people to do stuff. If it is the right way to do that. But, like, again, I don't know any other way to make them <laughs> read the, the, the rules. <coughs> Sorry about that. But yeah, like, uh, I would have uh, probably blocked the Bark Beast, uh, but since he's going for that, uh, that's fine. So probably the Devon Jor is uh, the thing that we we fear the most. Do we just, uh, like, develop stuff and we wait for the Monotain Sojourners to get in? And we get an insane amount of damage by doing so? I kinda like that plan. <laughs> so let's go for it. I wonder if the supports from Mountain Sojourners... Everyone's a garden. Like, actually, counts... 
double the amount of time. Oh, what is this? Like, guys, Blighted Caretaker, it's insanely good. Like, now you can kill the Young Witch, unfortunately. And uh, we get quite an insane amount of damage. Yeah. yeah, like you can't even kill Kalista if he's uh, if he realizes that. Come, come this way. Okay, okay, he's not attacking with Kalista. That's nice. He didn't uh, like he probably didn't notice that uh, those two will die and she will become a five four. So he actually value trades on Shen, but yeah, that's fine. Now what do we block? At one man, I could have uh, Mark of the Isles. So, like, let's get rid of his Elise. And we are not risking uh, losing also the Shen. Then, we have kind of a weak uh, Mountain Sojourners. I don't have problems with doing the thing. I'm talking for those less familiar with Discord. What you said is true, but still you don't know for sure if people are still reading the rules or if they are going to strictly follow them. That's also a fair counter-argument. Like, I am... I completely agree with everything you said, and I also know about it. But, like, you are probably also oh, like you are also agreeing with me when saying that uh, if uh, you force them to read them instead of like not doing so you have better chances of them actually reading the, the rules instead like if it is just uh, um please guys read the rules read the stuff uh, like they will probably not do that anyway instead if you force them there is a little bit more of a percentage that, that, that at least they are reading them therefore there are more people reading the rules, and there is a percentage, uh, like, that, that's probably um, a constant. There is a constant of people reading the rules and actually following them. them. If you, like, but if you increase uh, on the absolute value of people reading the rules, then also the relative, not, it is not like the relative uh, value of people reading the rules and then following them increases, but it increases uh, the absolute value of people following the rules. Because, uh, on in, gen in general, there is an increase of people, an absolute value of people reading the rules. If you follow it, my, <laughs> my line of thought. Like, uh, I don't know if we are actually attacking there. Like, we are losing if we don't do so. So, like, yeah, let's go for these. We lose the Mountain Sojourners, but we have a pretty big Shen and big uh, Lulu. Kinda sucks that also Lulu is not leveling up. Like a barrier that oh, he didn't block it with Kalista. What was he worried about? Like he's making some strange plays there. Oh guys, I didn't uh, see that. I, I I go mad with this uh with this board. Like I could do that all day. <laughs> this is also kind of obsessive, by the way. Yes, you are getting more person to read those, but also getting three people to just quit because they can't figure out what to do, Emo. That's also, like, uh, a fair point. But again, like, there is the temporary. Uh, if you prefer quality over quantity, it's probably the best thing to do. Well, yeah, I, I do prefer qua quantity, like, sorry, <laughs> quality over quantity. Ooh, we didn't get anything. So, like, uh, I I'm fine with having less people in the Discord, but having better people in, in the Discord. Uh, and also, but yeah, like, again, there is also the temporary um, channel, and if people are not uh, figuring out what to do, I could, like, uh, you know, um, help them on the temporary. If, if, the, if there are mods, I could also... that's fair then, yeah. Okay, now... Like, she's just summoning a 2-1. But but we can't. We have to block it with uh, either the Shen or the or this. There is no so like we can uh, go for Bastion over there. Let's see how much damage we are taking. We just need to block something else. What could he have? Ah, uh, Mark of the Elves. We always have to be aware of that. So like if he has a Mark of the Isles, like this is dying. Then oh, uh, Shen is dying anyway. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that that was a <laughs> wasted. Uh, Bastion. But then, like, no, we can do this then. Like, yeah, we sacrifice a Lulu. Unfortunately. We take the value trade there. And I think we are we are fine. If he has double mark of the Isles. Like, well played, man. <laughs> what can I say to you? Oh. 
I wonder if Shen, uh, if Lulu was more helpful me, than Shen there. What does my future hold? Uh, vision hazy. Please ask again later. Flower child. Actually, no we grow pretty big. Leaves beyond. Probably the only target for uh, Nobify. Then we'll save at an eye. Or what? But. Another glimpse. Bell Feast. Then this is probably Bastion. I don't know. Bastion or Deny? Like, I feel Deny can counter another glimpse if he draws that. Instead, Bastion can only counter the Bell Feast, really. Okay, so now we probably go like this. Okay, unfortunately, Shen still dies uh, to his Kalista. So then I'm wondering if we should uh, keep alive the Mentor of the Stones. But if he, for some reasons, doesn't go into Shen with Kalista, I mean. Like these. Then we get the gems from the Mentor of the Stones and we can uh, heal back. That, that's, that's a strange block. Yeah, like the Mentor of the Stones uh, can also block Doombeast. Yeah, we are dead to double Doombeast here. Okay, th then now we are fine. We can deny the, the Doombeast. Yeah, but now we don't have <laughs> enough blockers. Like, that kind of sucks. I wonder if we should go... If we should go for Bastion into Pale Cascade in the hope that we draw a blocker. Like, because we are dead to the Cursed Keeper and uh, the 1-1 one -one entering. He also summons uh, something from Kali with Kalista, but we block it. Then we can block uh, those two. But yeah, like, the other two are, are connecting. So, like, we need to get a blocker. We need to get a blocker, so I would rather have Mentor of the Stones, survive, so let's buff him. And like, we can actually, like, not lose anything by blocking Kalista with this. And Mentor of the Stones, yeah, right there. Let's see if he actually knows that he has lethal. I don't use Discord usually, clicked on command, but no rules, link there. You have to write it. Like, did you read the welcome? I'm too airborne. Like, it is written right uh, that command. You know? Like, isn't it clear? Ah. Why, why is it not clear? Okay, I want to figure out. You have to type rank welcome. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that, that, right? Exactly, it all. That kind of sucks. Also, guys, did you... Like, did you figure out that the, fl the flower child is probably this? Oh, yeah. Like, the, the card is this one. I, I was just uh, looking at that uh, before. So yeah, guys, that's it. If you enjoyed the video and want more content like this, please consider subscribing to the channel. Also, turn on the notifications, otherwise YouTube won't notify you of my content. Also, enter my stream so that you can interact with me live, as well as entering the Discord server so that you can, you can interact and stay in touch with this amazing community that we are building. All the links that I just said are down below in the pinned comment and in the description, as well as also Twitter and Instagram. So, that's it for this video. Hope you liked it and find it useful. And as always, see ya!